relief under a maxillary major connector is generally not required is required may be used may not be used such questions are actually very difficult to tackle because the options are very uh, subjective may be used may not be used is required not required okay so we need to understand what the what the core of the question is and it's very important to understand this word relief over here now relief when you talk about in dentures it means that the denture is not in intimate contact or in very fitting contact with that surface for example we know incisive papilla is a relief area just to give you an example okay in complete denture so where incisive papilla is located on the ridge you will keep the denture a little away from contact from the incisive papilla everywhere else it will be in intimate contact so this is known as relief that means you are not providing too much of fitting on that structure now as we know a maxillary major connector is supposed to be made up of a metal the purpose of a metal uh, of the major connector is cross arch stabilization it should be rigid which is very important and it should be fitting very well now in metal denture bases it is important that the metal is in contact with the tissue there is no layer of acrylic underneath it could be very thin layer of acrylic but it is in intimate contact with the tissue palate has firm mucosa the mucosa is good the bone is good and there is no mobile tissue so in this case you do not need to cover you need you need not provide any additional relief to that area in fact because most of the primary stress bearing areas are in the palate so if you use relief on the maxillary major connector then you are going to lose out on the retention of the denture unless yes of course there is a prominent mid palatine raphe or any structure okay so if there is torus or raphe which is prominent then in that case you need to provide relief in that area another very important aspect is getting confused between block out and relief okay so you will come across these words when you read surveying or when you are reading questions on the types of block outs so what is a block out a block out is done before duplicating the cast actually relief is also provided before duplicating the cast but i will show you what is the difference so before duplicating the cast all the areas that are going to interfere in the path of placement of the denture so here for example if this area the interdental areas the contours of the teeth they are going to interfere with the placement of the denture then you are going to block these areas then you are going to duplicate the cast in a refractory material make a wax pattern on that and that cast you cannot directly use a stone model as it is for casting because it is going to this integrate with the temperature changes of casting so you have to duplicate the cast before duplicating you need to block all the other areas which are not required and which are going to interfere in the placement of your partial denture relief on the other hand is provided only in the areas which are supposed to be also not covered by the final denture base okay so the relieving relieving areas will have space between the denture and the tissue so some very important examples of relief areas commonly uh, provided is beneath the lingual bar major connector or between lingual plate as indicated between major connectors with contact with thin tissue such as the hard areas so that it is usually on the lingual or mandibular ridges and elevated palatal raphe like i told you and beneath framework extension onto ridge areas for attachment of resin bases so if you have to allow some amount of acrylic to flow underneath then you will provide relief now most of it is done using hard base plate wax or adhesive wax because it adapts well seals well and you can use 32 gauge wax you can use thin layer of uh, flowing wax or 22 gauge wax so these are the different types of waxes used for the same purpose remember torus and palatine raphe are the only two structures that need to be relieved Uh, for a maxillary major connector so in this scenario may be used may not be used are not very uh definitive answers in my opinion the correct answer here should be it is generally not required it may be required in cases of prominent anatomical structures so the answer is one